What's up guys, it's Chad here with Drew Reviews, coming to you from my kitchen again. A little over a year ago I had posted a how-to video on how to fix a major problem with a gallery refrigerator from Frigidaire. The ice maker doesn't work, I go through a whole process on how to get that fixed. Um, as of today, it is early July 2020, I have over a little, little right at 70,000 views on that video. So it's a very successful video. Um, Unfortunately, probably about 40% of the comments, maybe 30 to 40% of the comments, tell me that I have some kind of like background music playing um, in the video while I'm doing a how-to video. A lot of people are saying they can't hear my voice. So what I'm going to do is, in you know, in reference to all that, I'm going to redo this video with better audio. Um, the truth is, I am a father of two young little girls. Okay. And in the video, there was a lot of screaming and hollering from them in the background, so I was trying to use the audio to kind of overshadow the screaming and hollering. So I'm going to try to put up the better video. I'm going to leave the original up um, just because I'm communicating with a lot of people and helping them fix their refrigerators through the comments. So uh, here we go. This is a Frigidaire Gallery. French door refrigerator with the freezer on the bottom. Problem I'm having, take your cup, turn it to cube ice, absolutely nothing. Crush, absolutely nothing. All right, as you can see, there's no ice coming out of this, okay? Inside here, guys, I'm sorry for my mess in here. I do have a family, so I have a lot of milk and et cetera in there. Um, look. I'm making ice. Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you how to fix the problem and where the problem lies and show you how to take this all apart. Alright, let's get started. Hey guys, for the first part of this we're going to want to turn off the refrigerator, um, power related, um, just so you're not wasting power in the motor. The compressor is not trying to con consistently run while this door is going to be open for a good little period of time. So what you're going to want to do is go over here to options, hit that. Um, obviously it has all the menu. You're going to want to scroll down to power off and then press and hold right here until it says power off. Alright, so motors, the compressor and everything shut off and now the power is off so we're going to be able to um, get to work on this without uh, the compressor consistently working trying to keep it cold. First things first, we're going to want to remove the ice tray. Obviously there's no ice in this one because we used it all and obviously it stopped making ice. Alright, first thing we need to do is remove the screw that is here and the screw that is here. All right, so here and here, Phillips head. So got over here, gotta get my Phillips head. All right, so let's get this out. All right, that one and this one right here. Have the two screws off guys you just to simply pull this straight off forward like that everything comes off nice and easy the next step here is going to remove this little uh, plastic tray in the front here for pretty much everything else on this whole um, tear down you're gonna need a quarter inch nut driver so we're gonna go up here and uh, take this little panel out all right got that out that just comes right down. As you can see, there's a whole bird's nest of uh, wires in here. We're gonna tackle that. Ne the next step here, uh, there's two sets of cables. There's a, looks like a nine pin connector and a six pin connector. And be careful on these because um, there are some exposed wires in the back. I just use a flathead to kind of pry off uh, Right off these little connectors right here helped me do a little bit easier. Because once you have all the cables disconnected, uh, like I was telling you earlier, all right, what we're gonna do is try to tilt this camera just a little bit better for you guys. All right, like I was saying before, guys, once all this is disconnected, okay, the next step is going to be removing the actual ice tray. All right, different models have different ways of getting it, but this one, there's four bolts in the top that hold it. And then there's four little plastic um, tracks that it goes on. So all you're going to do with this one is literally pull straight forward towards you. Try to grab the tray and not just this ABS part. It might crack. So pull this straight on back. 
Okay, see how it just came down? All right, now, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, okay? Um, these wires are routed all the way down and they actually have this zip tied to the tray. Um, so I think what I'm gonna have to do is remove, remove that zip tie right there to actually remove the whole tray out of here. So I'm gonna do that and get back to you. There was actually two zip ties, one here and one further back that was holding the wire in. So be very careful with the scissors not to nick or fray the wires because that's going to be your problem right there. So make sure you do not hit this. All right, once that's all taken care of, we're going to remove the whole ice tray assembly and the rotating motor, okay? So all this is out now. All right, so that's where the, all the ice is made and it just falls out of here. So like I said, there was a zip tie on the back. All right, we're getting down to the main back here with the motor the rotating motor and the compressor fan is so we're gonna keep on going sorry I didn't show you this uh, when I first took it out but you see these two right here and then these two right here all you do is you slide there are four screws at the top of this uh, basket here and these four right here slide onto those see that's what, the, what I was talking about when I said the tracks next step we're gonna take our handy dandy quarter inch again there's two bolts right here, and then there's one bolt on the side right here. So we're gonna get these taken care of. All right, there's one. Number three is out. All right, hopefully this thing right here will come out with some ease. All right guys, it is a little tight. And make sure that these two wires, you push up through this hole in the top as you're pulling. So you don't rip them out. All right. So just make sure it comes out nice and straight. All right, here's the box. And um, obviously your water comes in uh, through this port right here on the top of the box. And then the water comes through. There's a little hose right here, the water drips through. All right, on to the next step. All right guys, next step is going to be to actually remove this whole unit right here from the back. All right, upon looking at this, I already noticed what's wrong. Um, there's three screws you gotta undo. You gotta do a screw right here. Let me see. All right, there's a screw right here. There's a screw over here. All right, and there's a screw down here, bottom right, okay? In this little trough where I was trying to get to that screw, I physically had to break off this little bitty piece of ice, okay? I don't know if you guys can see, but this all right here, I don't know, these wires in the way, this whole thing, see that? There's just a ton of just frozen, obviously frozen water, but ice all on the back of this unit. That That's what's causing my problems. So like I said, I gotta remove this and um, thaw it out. So we're gonna get these three screws out of here. It is kinda hard to get to guys, but just do your best. 
All right, I can already hear just by undoing this screw some cracking and some ice. I don't know if you can see this, but there's actually, I mean, this is all right here. I mean, it's all ice. So obviously something's wrong uh, in the back here, frozen up. I do have these uh, three screws out that I need to get out. Um, I mean, I'm having some trouble. I don't know if you guys can see over here, but there are some, I don't know, when they were manufacturing it, they left some, some tape, some tape behind this over here. And uh, I don't believe it's supposed to be there, but the tape is kind of holding it in. So I'm trying to be as gentle as possible without uh, messing anything up. So let's get all this stuff out from underneath it here and give it a good little tug and see. All right, guys, there is some wiring um, back here that's holding it in. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. All right, so I don't know if you can see this, but this unit came out. This is the motor unit that spins the that up. Oh yeah. You see all this in here, guys? There is a ton of ice built up all around this motor that's not gonna let it work, okay? So that's a problem. All right, we're gonna go put this over here uh, in the sink. This is pretty much down to the end of it, guys, as far as what we're gonna do. I know this is kinda in the way. Um, I don't know if you're noticing this or not, but back here, Right where my finger is, I know it's hard to see, but there's this thing is all iced up. There's ice down this part. There's all ice in the back over here. There's ice on the copper wiring and stuff in the back. Um, so that's pretty much what's going to be keeping it from uh, doing its job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get a blow dryer, and I'm just going to pretty much blow dry all this and melt it all off, and um, we'll go from there and see if that works. What I'm doing. I am going to use the blow dryer, however, your refrigerator has a built-in defrost on it and you know nobody's going to tell you that it's there except for us guys on YouTube. Alright, all you need to do to put your freezer system into defrost mode is to hold down the plus and minus okay, until DF shows up on the screen where the normal temperatures would be. Okay. Keep in mind, when you put this into defrost mode, the compressors are going to turn off for the freezer and refrigerator, and it's going to put it into defrost mode. So you don't want to keep this on defrost too much, um, because everything in your refrigerator eventually will go, you know, defrost. Um, so I'm going to show you what it looks like inside. All right, guys. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, it looks like a lot more condensations on here and a lot of dripping coming down. Um, I did have to put some paper towels because it's already working. I don't know if you can see it right here coming off the plug and all this other stuff, but the defroster is actually working, okay, on all the stuff. Now, before I even attempted to remove this, I did go through the defrost cycle twice, um, and it did not work. So I'm going to try it here, and then once it's done, I'm going to go through the blow dryer and blow all the rest of that ice that is up there out. I don't know if you can see this or not, but um, I did blow dry all the ice that was up here, and it all thawed. Make sure you guys put a towel down here because it is probably a good amount of liquid that comes out. Um, but there's obviously a lot of chunks of ice um, that I did get out of here. I don't know if you guys can see that. They look like ice cubes, but they were all wrapped around all the coil and everything. So obviously that was a problem right there, but we still got to do some more. Um, this plastic right here, it slides straight down off of the coils that are inside of it. Okay, So we have to lift up right here. And I'm going to get this and hopefully slide it down. But it's going to take me two hands, so as soon as I get it uh, broke loose, I'll get back to you. Sorry, I had to stop and do a quick uh, snack break. Alright, this was up here before, okay? This was inside of this. The ice was all in this bottom section, okay? On the back, you have this. Okay, this is your drain, all right? Ice was frozen in here, frozen up to about here, okay? That all thawed out and melted, all right? I don't know if you can see, way back here in the back, all right? There's a drain hole, okay? 
there was a small amount of ice in the drain hole, all right, which tells me that what was causing my problems is a lot of ice build up in the back, okay? I mean, obviously there's no insulation in any of this, okay? As you can see, that's just a plastic uh, hollow tube. I have some aluminum foil here. Um, I mean, this looks pretty decent. All right, when you are removing it, this plug, there's a plug right here, okay? Goes through this opening, okay? Make sure there's tabs on the side you pinch together to push it through, it's important, okay? Don't be pulling on and breaking them. Like I said, none of this stuff you wanna break because then you are gonna have to replace it and these quick um, blow dryer techniques aren't gonna work anymore, all right? So I'm just going to blow dry the area, just make sure that everything is thawed off before I put it all together. Hopefully it'll work. I'll let you guys know. I completely went through and got all the ice and all the water off of all the components that I took out originally. All right, you wanna make sure that you get all the water and everything out of the area so when it does get back to being cold in here, it doesn't freeze back up. All right, first thing we're gonna do, we're going to reinstall the coil cover. I don't know if that's what it's called exactly, but I'm calling it the coil cover. Again, there's no ice, no water. Um, I dried it all off. All you're going to be doing is sliding this back over top and reinstalling the connector in this little port right here. All right, so we're just going to try to pull this out. Not a lot, just enough to get this back in. Okay, we're going to slide it back up, all right, over the coil. We're going to slide this all the way to the top. Now, there's some cables up here, these black cables. All right. They go into, sorry about that, guys. They go into this little slot right here. So just try not to pinch them at the top. All right. Keep on going with it. Try not to hurt anything. All right. It's not quite up there enough yet. All right. Trying to do it without doing breaking anything. Alright, the cables are back in the slot. Alright, got that. Alright, you know you're done when this bottom port goes into the hole that's in the back. So you'll know because you can push it and it'll be up in there. All right, hide these wires. And then we're going to reinsert this connector. And you'll know because the two tabs on the, on the sides will connect back onto this uh, track right here. All right, guys. The next thing is going to be the actual motor and the fan assembly. So I'm going to go get that and I'll be right back. All right, guys, next up is going to be the fan and motor assembly. I don't know if you remember when I took it out, there was a large chunk of ice that was kind of just all over this motor. Again, probably something that was trying to keep it from uh, working correctly. All right, obviously we're going to install it this way, okay, because it had the two screws across the top, okay. There's the one screw, the two screws, and then at the bottom you're going to have this one screw off to the right, okay. It's going to be installed like this. The only tricky part is this connector that doesn't have a very long lead has to be connected to that plug. Guys, once you have the motor assembly all finished, we're gonna be putting this whole case back on, okay? I don't know if you guys remember the case. Uh, pretty much, the important things on the case is you have to feed these two connectors, uh, sorry about that guy, through this hole, and then the water tube has to go back into the water tube, and also, you have to feed this long cable back through the back. So we're going to do that. We're going to get this all, try to get it all arranged correctly. All right, just like that. And then you're going to slide it into the back. And hopefully it seats all the way. It has to, because if it doesn't seat all the way, uh, obviously you're not going to have any, uh, any ice anyway. Okay? So on this, guys, is going to be the three screws. You have the two in the top, and you're gonna have the one on the side. All right, I'll get to work on this. All right guys, next step. We are going to be putting the ice tray, all right, back in there. Again, remember, it's got the four bolts in the top, the four trays, you're just going to put it in and slide it back. 
important thing on this is uh, this is the part where all these connectors are going to come together. So this right here has to lay down in the track right here and clip in. All right, so we're going to try that. Um, again, pull this up first. Put this under all the wires. All right. Slowly bring it up, keeping that long wire on the top. All right. I'm going to make sure that this is under the hook. It's provided. There were some zip ties on here, but guys, I'm not going to re-zip tie it. It's just going to be like this in case I have to redo this process again. So we're going to get this all under the clips. I'm going to attempt to put this back. All right. It is not going in there the same, so obviously we did something different. I don't believe that's straight. So I'm gonna try to get this all right, guys, and I'll get back to you and let you know what's going on. I'm back. What I figured out was that um, the long wire that was in the very back, I didn't have it under the clip, so the bundle was getting pinched uh, in between. So that was what was keeping it from going all the way up. All right, next step. Since the ice tray is in, you're going to just reconnect all these wires. Obviously, the nine pin to the nine pin. Um, this part right here is kind of dummy proof. This. The male end only has one clip. The female end only has one place for that to go. So you're just going to line it up, clip that in. And same thing with the six pin. All right, there you guys go. The next step, guys, is going to be reinstalling this little bitty plastic thing that just goes in there um, over all the wires. So we're gonna get going on that. Still got a couple more steps, guys, but you have this cap right here, okay? It has to go into orientation like this, into there. First, you're going to want to put it in, and then make sure all the, the wiring, okay, gets into the basket. Don't leave anything hanging out on both sides. Make sure, okay? And I tried it once, didn't get it, but there's these two tabs, one and then two. They have to slide in and over the ice tray, okay? So you're going to slide them up. And then, okay, as you're doing that, you have to angle the screw so it all lines up, okay? So we got this, got to screw this in. All right, got this. All right. All right, got that all in there, guys. All right, one more step we have before we can reinstall the ice tray is we're going to have to just put this piece back on there. I'm uh, pretty sure it goes in there like so, and then we'll be done. Then we can put the ice tray right back in. So this is the last last step. All right, it's gonna just go on straight like this. All right, you have two screws. You have one right here, one right here, but don't forget on this one, you have to go back to the Phillips head, okay? So I'm gonna put these in, tighten it up, and we'll get finished here shortly. I apologize for the Magic School Bus in the background, but my daughter wanted to watch it, and uh, so she got what she wanted. All right, let's see what we got. All right, here we got the tray, last step, slide it in. All right guys, it looks like it's there, everything's back together, okay? Make sure all your connections are all connected. Okay, obviously if a connection is not connected, it ain't gonna work. So, make sure all your connections are connected. Make sure you get all the old ice and the old condensation from inside there so it doesn't just freeze up again, okay? Um, if you think about it, water inside a refrigerator shouldn't freeze because it never hits 32. So obviously there's something else going on in here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire this refrigerator back up and I'll get back to you and let you guys know if it worked. All right, guys, moment of truth. Let's see what we got. All right, it is about the next day. I did the uh, the fix last, last evening, and it's the next day. So let's see what we got. All right, guys, you can see it is chock full of ice. So I'm really hoping um, that holds for a while and I don't get any more you know freezer problems in the back. Um, but uh, please guys, if you like this video and it helped you, 
Um, please like and subscribe to the channel, and I hope you guys uh, get your ice makers fixed.